Hi, welcome to part 4 of AWS Certified Machine Learning Speciality Certification. We are looking at real certification questions. You will get same or similar questions in the exam. Happy Independence Day for all the Indians in India and across the world. So in this part, we will look at questions linked with these topics. In the last part, I showed this question and it was kind of a pre-work. So let us first decode the answer of this question. See, the client is already using SageMaker. Okay, this is what we know. And what is the result? Models accuracy is insufficient. And what is the requirement? We have to enhance the model to use it for future goods. So if you see the other part of the story, there are few photographs and computer vision models are used to train it through SageMaker. Now you have to choose three answers. You want to increase the solutions accuracy. Now you have two options. Either SageMaker itself, you modify it or you use another better option. So if you choose to modify SageMaker, then you have options A, D. See, for computer vision, recognition is the best software. In this case, you are doing image analysis and recognition says you can do both image and video analysis. You must have seen in Facebook or Twitter, if someone tries to post obscene pictures, it does not allow. Same with YouTube, if there are obscene videos, it will not allow. The image analysis or the video analysis is done real time. So remember, this is the best software in this scenario, recognition. So we will then mark this correct and this as correct and this as well will mark correct. So we are suggesting to use detect labels. So this is of API functionality which is very useful. See in this example they are showing upload image which has photographs of tea or house or boat. Like if you have a use case where you have to scan all the images for a tree. So detect labels is very useful. Now here the question told the models accuracy is insufficient. What may be also happening is the images, the brightness is not good or the contrast is not good that the image is not getting recognized properly. See if the brightness and contrast is not good and then you are trying to run this software to spot a tree or spot a boat then it will not work properly. So do whatever you want to crop, flip, rotate, whatever. Bring it in a state which the software recognition would recognize. And then this one says use custom labels. See custom labels, this helps of, takes care of heavy lifting. That means custom labels builds off, its, its starting point is recognition's existing capabilities, which has already trained on tens of millions of images. For example, you say identify a boat. Now recognition already has done it millions, through millions of images, it is already trained. So your starting point is that. But if you developed your own custom model, then you are starting from zero. And it is a huge, huge effort. It takes time, expertise, resources. Plus, you have to run it through thousands or tens of thousands of hand labeled images. So manually, you have to label the images and then train it. So this one is the final answer. See, this question is saying that they are using this model, long short term memory model. See, LSTM model is a part of SageMaker. When do you use it? When you have to learn from historical patterns, like one month back, two months back, one year back during Christmas, this was a trend. Three years back during Christmas, this was a trend. Or you want to learn from time series data. But here the use case is different. I don't think we should use LSTM here. They have to analyze 
documents and categorize each phrase see word to vec algorithm is very useful in such cases it uses natural language processing nlp any document scanning speech to text etc all use nlp and it is useful for sentiment analysis and so on it does text classification that is an important task for the application and it also does document classification so the word to vec algorithm it uses high quality vectors you can use large collection of documents to train it see for large documents or big repository of documents you can parallelize this using multiple cpus or even gpus you can fast track it huh? so let us use a service which is born for this this is the service which is born for this purpose that is analyze analyze documents and categorize each phrase what this is doing is is trying to do this so that it can see is there a phrase which is posing a danger or posing no risk this is sentiment right so like we saw in this documentation what to vec algorithm is useful for sentiment analysis so this would be my answer okay now see if you see what it is telling is reduce the learning rate see don't do such thing you should increase the learning rate and then it is saying you keep training until the loss stops decreasing this is wrong this is a opposite approach b says you use gru instead of lstm see lstm and gru are synonymous you can use one or the other both have similar functionalities if lstm does not fit the bill how will gru fit the bill because both are identical so this is also wrong so this is the final answer let us look at this question see whenever you see such questions no where they are clearly saying it is a overfitting issue sometimes they don't say directly it's a overfitting issue in that case you should use this indicator your prediction accuracy would be 90% but the test the accuracy would be 70% it would be less okay if whenever you see such scenarios that means it is a overfitting issue and whenever you see overfitting close your eyes and choose regularization that is a thumb rule if you see this in your question or sometimes they don't mention this but they will mention such scenarios this and this don't waste time within 20 seconds click regularization and move forward see it is simple you have to reduce the model size by l1 regularization or by specifically restricting the model size by specifying the maximum size and if you see this documentation i have searched it for you it helps prevent this linear models from overfitting see whenever you see issue of overfitting this is what you have to do now you can do l1 or you can do l2 so you can pause this video and understand regularization try to check the difference between l1 and l2 regularization so this is the final answer now let us look at the next question see whenever you see such questions where you need to install some packages which the notebook instance they do not have accessibility on sage maker if that is the case close your eyes straight away choose life cycle configuration life cycle configuration on sage maker that is how we do it if you are using managed service you are not allowed to do this so this is c is saying to use conda package if you want to switch between programs in your local computer then you uh -huh. use conda package which is a anaconda package this is wrong here sage maker it itself has this feature so this is the documentation 
which guides how to install packages or sample notebooks on your notebook instance and this is the beauty a life cycle configuration it provides shell scripts that run only when you create the notebook instance or you when you start one and this is what we need you can use lifecycle configuration script to access aws services from your notebook that is what this question wants so we would lock this answer this is the answer and move forward so please hit the subscribe and the like button subscriptions are very important for me to understand what is the pulse of the audience this brings us to the end of this part see you in the next part happy independence day